Hey Stampers, welcome to Brandy's Cards. So I have another great card for you guys today. Um, it is a card made with coffee grounds. So not only is it messy and it's a lot of fun, but it smells amazing. So for those of you who like coffee, I think you're gonna find this, um, this card pretty cool. So I have the, um, the tutorial in my Stampin' Getaway magazine, and uh, it was a, a card that I recently designed, was super excited about it. So if you're interested in one of my Getaway magazines, uh, you will find a magazine off to the right-hand side of brainyscards.com. If you click on that, um, it will take you to where you can purchase one of my magazines. But this is the card we're gonna make today. And as you can see here, this is coffee grounds here all in the background. That's right, it's real coffee grounds and some real coffee beans. Who needs brads and buttons when you have coffee beans? Um, and so this is from the Perfect Blend stamp set. I really like this stamp set. It's super cute. And uh, for us coffee fans out there, it works, it works well. Um, so let's go ahead and let's get started. So what do you need? Well, I have got Early Espresso Paper, Whisper White, and Real Red. That's about it, and some crumb cake. Um, again, the Perfect Blend Stamp Set. That is a stamp set by Stampin' Up. You can see it here. Um, it is a Stampin' Up stamp set. So if you guys need a catalog or um, you would like uh, the new spring catalog that's coming out, shoot me an email and I'll be happy to send you one of those, um, or if you like this stamp set. So what I'm gonna do is all the sizes and dimensions can be found at brandyscards.com. So I am not gonna state any of that here in this video. I am just gonna craft and show you exactly how I made this card. So I've got an early espresso piece of cardstock and I'm gonna go ahead and fold that in half. I have some Tombow glue. Basically what I've done is I've cut a whisper white piece and this piece is going to layer right here on the top like such. Perfect. And so I'm just gonna kinda of take you through the whole process. So then I have a, um, a real red piece of cardstock. It's about an eighth of an inch smaller. I just wanted a hint of the white. So this one is just a wee bit smaller. Not, 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 uh, not a whole lot, there you go. See that there? Just a little bit smaller. Now I'm gonna show you at the end the card that we did for the Stampin' Getaway. And I actually embossed that with the coordinations um, cardstock and I embossed it with the stripes and then I did some sanding. But you guys know that I like to shake it up and I don't like to do all the same projects. So I decided to make a different coffee card for you guys. All right, so here we go. So here is our Whisper White piece. So this is the piece, this is kind of where you start to kind of get into the technique -y part of it. Um, if you look at the card here, um, I have got the hole in the center. This is actually from the new Starburst of framelits that are coming out in the spring catalog. I'm so excited about it. So I didn't have my circle one, so I pulled out the star, uh, Starburst and it looks just as cool. Um, but today it looks like I've got my circle framelits with me. And um, so what you need to do is I have this embossed and then I also have it cut out. But if you emboss it before you uh, cut out the circle, then as you run it through, it will actually flatten the emboss in the embossing. So I'm gonna go ahead and I've got my, mag my magnetic platform here and I've got my circle down and I'm just going to run this through one time. And so as it comes out, whoa, do you guys hear that? That means it works. Okay, so here it comes out on the other side. And as you can see here, it just pops right out. And now I have the circle, and that's what, um, that's what you can see in my coffee, right? And uh, so that's that. So the next step is, is embossing it. Now the embossing folder here that I have, I believe it's retired. But Stampin' Up, we have so many embossing folders, and this just happened to be the one that I grabbed. But we have the poinsettias that are gorgeous, the polka dots, there are lots and lots of choices. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick this piece of cardstock into my embossing folder. I have my Big Shot on tab one, and I'm gonna run it right through. We're gonna get a really great embossed snowflake on here. And there we go, so we're all done with that. I'll push that back through. So now we have to check it out. All right, here we go. Oh, so pretty, love it. Okay, so now we're just gonna set that aside. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to go on to our coffee grounds. So in order to do that, I have to pull in some scrap paper. So this is where it gets messy, but it smells so good, okay? Trust me on that. So what you need is you need some Mod Podge. Who doesn't love Mod Podge? Let me tell you, I do. This stuff rocks. So I've got some Mod Podge, I've got a paintbrush, and um, so the next piece that we're gonna do is your background here behind your coffee, or behind your um, coffee cup. And so there's a couple different ways that I did that. It is a four by three piece of cardstock, and originally I did it on white, and I painted it with Mod Podge, and then I put my coffee grounds, but as you can see here, you can actually see some of the white. So then I thought to myself, ah, aha moment, you know, why not doing it on, do it on early espresso cardstock because, well, the coffee grounds are brown, so then you, it'll mask it and you won't see it. So that's exactly what I did. So I have an early espresso piece of cardstock here, and I'm just gonna put a little Mod Podge on my brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and just paint that right here on my early espresso. Now you don't want a big, a big thick, thick um, glop of it by any means. Um, you wanna kinda keep it somewhat thin, but you do want a good even coat on there, I found. And so that's it, we're just gonna cover it with Mod Podge. And then I'm gonna take that away because I don't wanna get something stuck to it. And then right here, as you can see, I have some Folgers Coffee Grounds. That's right. And I'm just gonna push it, um, it we're gonna kinda pretend it's glitter. Um, and I'm just kind of pushing it around in there. And what I found is if you kind of give it a kind of a grinding back and forth, it really kind of puts, um, you know, it kind of gets those coffee grounds into the, you know, just, just covers it better. It just gets it in there really good. So, oh, look at that. Love it. Do you see that? It's awesome. Okay, so I am just gonna go ahead and set that aside because it's gonna take probably 10 or 15 minutes to dry. Now you can pull out your heat tool and you could take the time to dry it, but I've already prepared another one so that we could keep this moving for you guys. All right, so I'm gonna pull my card back in and I've also got a, um, a little foam pad here and I have my Stampin' Up! poker tool. And so this is kind of interesting. So if you think about the fact that these are coffee grounds on the background, and if I layer this on top, most of you know that Stampin' Dimensionals do not stick to this type of thing, nor do mini glue dots. I don't know why, but they just don't stick. So I had to come up with another way to um, anchor my coffee cup, because as you can see, it's kind of, I wanted it on the coffee grounds as well. So what I did is I took a poker tool, and you know, I don't know, about, well, oh, it's not halfway, just before halfway down, I poked a hole in my coffee ground cup and I just found these, I just found these big thick brads. Um, they were in my collection from years past and I just pulled those out and I'm gonna put a brad in there. Now let me move my foam pad out of the way with my poker tool. So there you go, you can see that. And one thing I didn't mention before is after this dries, you're gonna wanna do a few good, really good taps because you will have excess coffee grounds that will come off. So you just wanna make sure you tap it really good um, and then it should be fine and it shouldn't come off. Um, okay, so now what we're gonna do, pull our card back in and I have got some Tombow glue and I'm gonna put a good, good bit of Tombow glue right here in the back. And I'm not gonna worry about if it's chunky because this piece is gonna be hidden. You're not gonna actually see, um, see it anyway. So now you're gonna wanna put it down um, just far enough that you have room to put Stampin' Dimensionals all around the perimeter, okay? So there you go. You can see it's coming along great. So we have our embossed piece here. And you know, I like the, um, I like the uh, textured part up at top. So I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna layer my Stampin' Dimensionals. I am gonna put a Stampin' Dimensional in each corner. And you know, typically I wouldn't put any extra, but in this card I have found that it does work best to put one on each side and to put one in the top and one in the bottom. Now you might think it could, you might say, oh, well that's kind of overkill. Well, not really on this card because you do have the bulk of the um, coffee grounds on the inside and so you don't want your card to come apart. Um, so I'm gonna pull that back in and we are just going to set 
this white piece right down here on top. Now it looks like I may have not cut my white piece small enough. So my red, there's just a very small hint of my red on there, but I don't really mind it. I mean, it still looks great. So here we go. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna stamp our coffee cup. I have early espresso cardstock or um, early espresso stamp pad. And um, I'm just gonna stamp that one time. And it turned out great. I actually added some more reinker in that. So it's a really beautiful image. And then I've got some crumb cake here and I'm gonna stamp it again on crumb cake because I want that, um, I want that layered look. And then I have this saying that comes in the stamp set. It says, coffee and friends are the perfect blend. And I couldn't agree more. So um, I'm gonna stamp that right there in the center and it looks great, came out super. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and we're gonna cut our coffee cup out. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't worry too much about your cutting it out. Um, you certainly could leave some white. This, um, cutting this coffee cup out is much easier than some of the more intricate cutting that we do on some of the other cards. This has got a lot of, um, you know, more straight lines, so it's, it's not too bad. So you're gonna cut that out. And now we're gonna go over and we're gonna cut out the koozie or the, um, you know, your, your uh, Starbucks little, um, recycle piece that goes on the top for it being so hot. And then we're gonna cut that out just like that. So now I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna glue that right on top of my card. Nothing big. And so now my card is layered and it looks awesome. See that? Really cool, really easy, right? That's not hard at all. So now what you're gonna do is I'm gonna go in and very carefully I am going to cut a small little slit, just a small one. And I've, you know, I purchased these sticks. I think I, I purchased them at maybe a local craft store or something for one of my uh, kids' projects. And so what I'm gonna do is I am just gonna snip off the end here um, because it's a little long. And you know, I kinda liked the idea of having a stir stick because when you go to the coffee shop, they have stir sticks, right? So basically what I'm doing is I'm pushing it inside the coffee cup and then I'm gonna bring it down on the inside. Now you can do it one of two ways. I'm gonna take it back out because I needed to add some Stampin' um, mini glue dots. Um, you know, you can do it one of two ways. You could put Tombow glue, but for time's sake, I would say if you have Stampin' um, the mini glue dots, I would just use those because it is much, much easier. So as you can see, that's the back of the coffee cup, just like that, and that's the front. Now you have your little st stir stick in there. And now what we're gonna do is I have, um, I've got some Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm gonna go ahead and put two on the bottom because the stick, you want the height of your cup to be the same height of your stick. And then I'm also gonna put a mini glue dot right here on my anchor, okay? And this is so we get that precise spot and it looks like it's not wanting to come off there. Here we go. So we're gonna put that right on there and I might even put two just so I'm sure that I get the right placement. So then I'm gonna go ahead and stick my cup straight down just like that, okay? And so as I worked on this card, I thought, now what is the perfect way to finish off a coffee card? Well, of course, with whole coffee beans. So I went to, um, I went to the, our Earth Fair here next door and they have bulk coffee. So I picked up some coffee beans and with a mini glue dot. Now they're kind of waxy little guys. So, you know, they're not, uh, they, don't, they don't cooperate really well. But once you get a mini glue dot on there, um, it, it does work. And so you're gonna stick it onto your card and then let's get another mini glue dot on this one. That one worked well. And I kind of liked them so that they were like going different directions and I don't know, I just thought that was like the coolest thing. All right, so here you go. This is my perfect blend coffee card. And um, I just think it's awesome. It's using real coffee grounds and some real coffee beans. Can you imagine if this went through the mail and you were sitting at home and you opened it up you're either gonna get coffee grounds on you because you didn't tap it off, no, just kidding, or it's gonna smell so amazingly good. 
And so, you know, the I think the next best thing is um, maybe a really nice note on the inside and maybe a, one of those um, Starbuck Vias or something like that. Maybe you were sending a friend um, not only a coffee card, but some a, co a cup of coffee along the way. So I, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I hope you give this card a try. If you're interested in my Stampin' Up! Uh, my, my getaway, Brandy Cox's getaway magazine, um, you know, it is on my website, brandyscards.com. If you're looking for the sizes and dimensions of this card, you're going to want to go to Brandy's Cards at the very top in the search button type in their perfect blend and that is the stamp set or coffee and the card will come up. So thanks so much for stopping by and I hope you all have a great day.